there's something called the Invisible Gorilla. So uh, if you're not familiar with the Invisible Gorilla, it's a book uh, or a, actually a, a psych psychology demonstration by Christopher uh, Chabris Chabri and Daniel Simmons. It's a book. Um, there's quite a few chapters in it. It's a very interesting book. And the Invisible Gorilla is basically people watch a video of uh, people dressed in black shirts and people dressed in white shirts. And they've done this with other, um, it's not just black and white. You don't need to be racist about it. It has nothing to do with racism. If that's, if you're that kind of shallow, you know, simple-minded person who thinks in terms of race, then, you know, this has nothing to do with that. Um, but unfortunately, people do have simple, shallow minds, so they see race everywhere. But, oh well. Um, so, if you say, okay, count the people with the white shirts, how many times they pass the ball around, okay? So, it means you're not really paying attention to the people with the black shirts. So, as you're counting those people, there's a gorilla that comes out, stands in the middle of the people passing the ball, jumps around for, you know, three, I don't know, quite a, a significant amount of time and then goes off to the side. 50% of people, or whatever the numbers are, don't even see the gorilla. Now, for the people who do see the gorilla, is because they're not counting very carefully, you know, who knows? Maybe some people are more apt to see, you know, the pattern changes. But the point is, if you're not paying attention, right? And that's what the, the um, prosecution says, well, no, not paying attention. No, she should have been paying attention. Yes, she should have, but she was distracted, not by like talking to, you know, her friends about what they're going to do on the weekend. You know, she, she has this other mission she's on and she's focused on that. And then she's given this second mission. So that did distract her from what she was doing. She was planning on, you know, getting prepared for the sleep or for the sleep study, for the swallow study and teaching the new hire about it. Pulling from a Pixis, getting a med. The new hire was oblivious because why? Like, I've been in orientation. Like, I don't. I've done this. Like, whatever. It's just ha like I. She's doing her thing. I'm just kind of waiting until this is done so we can move on with my orientation. This crap, where you know the cackling hag says, "No, every time you need to." Oh, shut up! Oh, shut up! Yeah. So obviously you haven't worked full time day after damn day. It doesn't matter whether you're tired. It's just, it's tiring and it's hard to be a nurse baseline when things go your way in general. So you don't sit there and teach every damn second. I mean, I would hate to have whoever that woman was. I just, I don't know that I could work with her. Anyway, there's different personalities. Uh, but she's exactly the kind of person the prosecution needed. That's why they picked her. Because she hasn't been in, she hasn't worked at the bedside in probably 20 years. Okay, so the invisible gorilla, there's something called inattentional blindness. So let me, so this is, I don't, I don't care if you read this. I have like 20 pages of notes that I've written. And this is just one little example of it. So the invisible gorilla is a book. They go over different illusions. The illusion of attention. So people think they're paying attention. And they show all kinds of, um, examples of, of people thinking that they understand what's going on and then it's not. Some th things are being changed out. Um, the illusion of memory. They give examples of uh, cases where eyewitness testimony has sworn confidently that person A committed the crime and it turns out, you know, years later the person was innocent. But there's the illusion of confidence. So people, because if a witness is confident, you're more likely to believe them. Well, you shouldn't believe them because they're confident. No. Con men, con men, con women, con artists, right? Confidence man. That's what they're, it's, it's not convict, it's confidence man. So they, they try and gain your confidence and they screw you over. So not the, the illusion of knowledge where people think they know more than they actually know. The illusion of cause, people think... A causes B. No, that's not always true. 
um, of one's personal potential, of intuition. So the, the big ones that matter are the illusion of attention and inattentional blindness, which is you're paying attention to one thing. It's not that you're not paying attention at all. You're not drunk, right? You're not inhibited. You're not, you're not uh, under the influence. You're paying attention to one thing. You're doing one thing. You're giving verse said. So you don't pay attention to this other. You're just because I, I read Sherlock Holmes with my um, son a, not, a, a lot at night. And uh, Sherlock is, tells Watson, you know, you see, but you do not observe. Right. So Sherlock walks into the same room. Watson walks into the room. And then Sherlock says, tell me what you saw. And then, yep, that's right. But you didn't observe, right? You didn't really, in a sense, think about, right? So a lot of people see, but they don't observe. That's that's just the way humans are, especially if you're distracted by you want to do. There's this quote here by, this is from IASMP, um, multitasking, the single best way to screw up both jobs. Or one job or three jobs or whatever. Um, risk of a harmful medical medication error doubled when you're interrupted four times, tripled when you're interrupted six times. This is all known stuff. So the system should be set up such that this won't channel you into an adverse event. So I just, I, I, again, I, this is just very disturbing that this is turned into a criminal uh, conviction. 